I'm going to be showing you how to update your older Pro Angler with a vantage seat and outfit it with an H rail. We're going to be using the parts that come with our kit. We also have some tools. We'll need a quarter inch drill bit with our drill, a number two and a number three Phillips screwdriver, and a set of Allen keys, a eighth inch and a quarter inch. There's two different kits, one for the Pro Angler 12 and one for the Pro Angler 14. There are two different length bars, so choose the appropriate one for your belt. Before we get started installing, we're going to release the rudder cord, and we're also going to loosen up the rudder tension knob here. We're going to take off our Flying H Hobie sticker here. Just use the flat edge side of a screwdriver and take it off. And we're going to save every part. We're going to use the appropriate on key. We're going to keep this screw, our steering knob. We're going to take off this pin right here, and you're going to hear a thud from the crank, which is this piece right here, falling down and dropping to the bottom of the kayak, just like that. And don't forget to keep this plastic washer. Let's take off this bar by t taking your quarter inch Allen key and just unscrewing it all the way on both sides, one here and one on the back. We're going to need to access the inside of the hull, but before I get started, I'm going to take my seat out just because it's going to get in the way, and then I'm going to pull out some foam from the inside of the kayak in order to get just inside of that crank. I'll need to remove the lines off the crank and lay them flat on the bottom of the hull and then I'll use them later when I'm reattaching them. The best suggestion I can give to you is just to remove this rear block and then this cylinder, cylindrical piece of foam as well. And remember where they're going in because they're gonna to need to put them back in the same way. This is what the crank looks like when it drops down from the top. There's two lines that have these crimped loops at the end and the loops are wrapped around this rivet. In order to pull the crank from the looped ends, all you need to do is release the loops right off the rivet just like that. Here's the old crank. I'll need to keep the spring in the small washer here. And our new cranks will be used. You can see the height difference. So we're gonna take our crank, drop it in from the top, and this is going to help us align the base properly and before we start drilling we're going to take our drill and we're just going to push down firmly on an area that we've inserted the uh, crank on and we're just going to double check to make sure that it's aligned dead center and so I'm off just a little bit to the left I'm going to redo that make sure it's perfect and I'm perfect, I'm dead on right here with my mark. Taking our rope, our backing plate, and a quarter twenty screw, we're gonna mount this base right onto the boat. So the first thing you'll need to do is you'll need to run this line, this rope, with the, where the crank hole was, down from the top, into the boat and then we're going to go in and grab the rope we're going to take our base we're going to tie a little figure eight knot you can tie any knot really come back to here so I'm going to pull my line up and I'll see that the threaded side of this mounting base is right underneath right underneath my uh, my, my the area I just put a hole in. So now I can put this quarter 20 in screw. So after a few attempts, I finally got the screw to thread into the backing plate. Um, it's not an easy thing to do, but it's, uh, it's necessary. Um, after putting the backing, backing plate on and threading it incorrectly, 
I'm going to keep it a little bit loose in order for me to line it up later with the crank and when I install the H-rail, which the crank is going to feed through. And once the mount is on there, the base is on there, just pull your rope off. We're going to take those older parts from the first crank, which is the plastic washer in our spring, slide them onto our new crank with the plastic washer going on first and the spring with the smaller side facing downwards going on next. We're going to then push the crank up through the mount base and then once we've pushed it all the way through, we're going to slide this pin through those holes there just to hold it in place and then we're going to put, attach the uh, lines to that rivet that I showed you before. We're going to put our H rail on the boat now and you can see there's a slight bend in this rail. So you're going to want to follow the curvature of the boat on both sides whether it's left or right. The rail itself is not a left or right, it's both, but depending on how you flip it will dictate whether it's the left or right rail. So we're going to line it up, see how it's going to fit. We're going to go back over, we're going to put some self-tapping screws in here so that the rail doesn't spin and uh, doesn't lose traction. So I have my rail rested flat on a flat surface with the hole that's going to have the crank coming out of it facing straight up. I'm going to put the end fittings perpendicular to that hole on both ends, making sure that it is the same on both sides. So before you install the, the H rail, we're going to need to take out this bolt right here that's on your mounting board. Let's take your Phillips head screwdriver and unthread it. We're going to take the front portion, which is the longer half between this, uh, where the crank opening is. We're going to slide our longer bolt that comes with our kit. And then we're going to slowly crank down on this. Now that the crank is through, we're going to tighten up where the bolt is going in, threading into the backing plate. We're going to take our steering mount and we're going to get it ready to slide over this H-rail and fit right over this H-rail base. Um, so what we're going to do is I'm going to get underneath here. I'm going to pull this pin out. I'm going to hold it just enough to where it's clearing the uh, H rail. And then I'm going to push the base right over, push the crank all the way through this hole, and I'm going to slide that pin right through, just like that. We're going to reuse that older bolt that you had on your, H, on your rail, your old rail, and use that to fasten down the H rail on the back end. We're going to fasten our steering mount together by putting through this bolt and this nut on the other side. You can see that there's an impression here for the nut that will hold it in place while you push this bolt through. And then we'll hang, hand screw it in. To finish up, you just fit your steering handle right on there, screw down the handle, and apply a sticker right back on top. Or you can do what I like to do, which is put a steering riser onto your area where you would have your steering handle, then put your steering handle on top, followed by your bolt, and now you have a nice tall steering handle. It makes it easier to turn left and right. It's time to put our foam back in, and then I'll finish up by doing up the other side and you'll see the complete boat. All right, our 2014 Perangler 14 is now upgraded to having H rails. I've also given it some extra flair by putting some risers on and steering handles on both sides. And I did a little fine tuning at the end just to make sure that the steering handles are nice and straight in line with the rudder. And we're looking good. Check out some more videos from Hobie Fishing.